particularly emphasize from my personal experience. It was a mixed gathering of former MPs, current MPs, businessmen, family and friends, all celebrating the life of the late Gladys Wangoi Murethi, a renowned farmer and businesswoman, a woman who Royal Media Services chairman saw as a mother figure, a lady who once helped him during one of his many run-ins with the government during the Moi era and in his quest for justice. When the Mathu paper was closed down during the Moi regime, there are files that were very important that were being sought after, and we knew that if they were ever found, we would never go to court. She helped us hide those files for over a year. And celebrate her life they did. Wangoi was a staunch Christian who was always ready to mentor many. Nairobi Metropolitan Minister Njero Githaya took the opportunity to ask Kenyans to support the Kenyan's defense forces incursion into Somalia. This is time to show unity. This is time to support our, our, our troops in Somalia. But instead, the Matatu, driver, the Matatu owners and drivers won't go on strike at this critical time. The lecturers won't go on strike at this critical time when our, sh our sharing is depreciating, when the economy is doing so badly. Politics too took center stage with Ndarago MP Jeremiah Kioni warning that Kenya under the new constitutional dispensation might end up with more parliamentarians than earlier thought. But if you have not worked out the numbers, you still have it wrong. We will end up with a, parli a parliament, both the Senate and the lower House, with a membership of about 600 members of parliament. 600 members of parliament. It will be short of 600, maybe by seven seats. Can this country afford 600 members of parliament? Gladys Wangoi Murethi, who died after a short illness, will be remembered for her resilience and an industrious attribute. She is survived by three children, two sons and a daughter, and many grand and great-grandchildren. Royal Media Services Chairman S.K. Masharia pledged to donate half a million shillings, which will go towards the expansion of the PCEA Thunguma Church building, as was the late Wangoi's wish. Morwin Murimi, Citizen Live at Nine.